Partial pressure is a concept that you learned in chemistry probably several years ago. And normally we learn about it in the context of gases and trying to think about the relative amounts of different gases within the atmosphere or in some uh, compartment. Uh, but now we're going to be talking about partial pressures as it relates to gases dissolving in liquid and being transported in the blood, a really key factor in biological systems. Uh, what you're going to be learning about is how we actually reference these things, how we quantitate the amount of gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide in the blood, how they become in equilibrium uh, with the red blood cells as well as the liquid portion of the blood. And we're going to look at some interesting clinical examples, including a diver experience, looking at somebody scuba diving and how partial pressures help explain some of the problems that can occur in a scuba diver. And we're going to take you on a visit to the intensive care unit to see a patient with respiratory failure who's being maintained on a breathing machine, a mechanical ventilator, and how we need to think about partial pressures in the care of that type of patient as well.